The sonic boom has long been a formidable challenge for aviation. It's more than just a loud noise. It's a barrier that has kept commercial supersonic flight from widespread adoption. The sound barrier, first broken by Chuck Yeager in 1947, remains a significant hurdle for engineers and scientists. Yet, a group of researchers in Northwest China dared to defy conventional wisdom with an innovative solution, drilling holes in a plane's wing. This counterintuitive approach opened new possibilities, challenging over a century of aerodynamic principles that began with the Wright brothers. China is innovating rapidly in technology and science. We bring you one crucial news video daily, straight from reliable sources. No speculation, just facts. Help us beat the YouTube algorithm by subscribing and liking our videos. Join our channel membership to support truth and innovation in China. Thank you for your time. We guarantee you will learn something new every day. The idea was simple, yet profound. By facilitating airflow between the upper and lower surfaces of the wing, these holes could mitigate the shockwave vibrations that create sonic booms. The concept was bold, and its implications were far-reaching. If successful, this technology could revolutionize the way we think about supersonic flight, making it quieter, more efficient, and more accessible. This breakthrough could bring us closer to a future where flying faster than the speed of sound is not just a military endeavor, but a commercial reality. Redefining Aerodynamics for over a century, the principles of flight have remained largely unchanged. Bernoulli's principle, which explains how the difference in air pressure above and below a wing creates lift, has been the cornerstone of aircraft design. However, as planes approach supersonic speeds, this principle encounters significant challenges. Shock waves form at the trailing edge of the wing, introducing turbulence, drag, and destructive vibrations. This phenomenon has limited the development of supersonic commercial jets and kept the dream of widespread supersonic travel at bay. The Chinese research team's experiment is a radical departure from traditional aerodynamics. By introducing a mechanism that only activates at supersonic speeds, they effectively stopped shock waves from forming behind the wing. This innovation reduced drag and nearly eliminated the vibrations that have plagued supersonic flight for decades. In essence, they found a way to harness the very forces that once hindered flight to make it more efficient. This discovery could be the key to unlocking the next era of aviation, where the limitations of speed and noise are overcome by clever engineering. The X-59, a glimpse into the future. While the Chinese team was making strides in reducing sonic booms through innovative wing design, NASA was unveiling its own vision for the future of supersonic travel. The X-59, a sleek and futuristic aircraft, is designed to fly faster than the speed of sound with a fraction of the noise typically associated with such speeds. Unlike its predecessors, the X-59 aims to eliminate the disruptive sonic boom, replacing it with a sound no louder than a car door closing. This aircraft represents a significant leap forward in aeronautics, not just for its speed but for its potential impact on commercial aviation. The X-59 is the centerpiece of NASA's quiet supersonic technology, Quest, mission. A project that could pave the way for supersonic flights over land, a prospect that has been off-limits due to noise regulations. If successful, the X-59 could revolutionize air travel, making it possible to cross continents in just a few hours without disturbing those on the ground. The Evolution of Supersonic Technology Supersonic flight has always been synonymous with military aircraft, with few exceptions like the Concorde. However, the development of supersonic technology has taken a new turn with innovative approaches that could make it feasible for commercial use. The Chinese researchers' experiment with wing design is just one example. Meanwhile, NASA's X-59 is a bold attempt to bring supersonic flight to the masses. What sets these efforts apart from previous attempts is their focus on reducing the environmental and noise impacts of supersonic travel. The Concorde, despite its engineering marvel, was ultimately retired due to its loud sonic booms and high operating costs. Today's engineers are taking a more holistic approach, considering not just speed but also sustainability and public acceptance. By addressing these issues head-on, the new wave of supersonic technology promises to be more than just faster. It's set to be smarter and more socially responsible. The Hypersonic Frontier While supersonic technology pushes the boundaries of commercial flight, the military is exploring even more extreme speeds. Hypersonic weapons, capable of traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 15, represent the next frontier in aerospace technology. 
Chinese scientists are at the forefront of this research, developing a new type of hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, that uses a skipping stone trajectory to extend its range and improve its maneuverability. This trajectory allows the HGV to repeatedly dive into and jump out of the atmosphere, making it nearly impossible to intercept. The technology is a significant leap forward, not just in terms of speed, but also in terms of strategic capability. With the ability to strike targets anywhere on the globe within minutes, these hypersonic weapons could reshape the future of warfare. Yet this technology is still in its infancy, with many technical challenges remaining before it can be deployed in combat. The Legacy of Qian Shuesen The advancements in hypersonic technology are not just the result of modern innovation. They are built on the legacy of pioneers like Qian Shuesen, often regarded as the father of Chinese rocketry. In the late 1940s, Qian proposed the concept of hypersonic gliders, vehicles that could travel vast distances at incredible speeds by gliding through the upper atmosphere. His ideas laid the foundation for today's hypersonic research and continue to inspire scientists as they push the boundaries of what is possible. Qian's vision of hypersonic flight is now becoming a reality, with Chinese scientists developing new gliders that can travel at speeds up to Mach 20. These vehicles can not only strike distant targets with unprecedented speed, but also evade detection and interception, making them a formidable tool in modern warfare. As researchers refine these technologies, they are not just building on Qian's legacy, they are surpassing it, achieving feats that even he could only dream of. The Sanger Trajectory Revisited The idea of using a skipping stone trajectory to extend the range of hypersonic vehicles is not new. It was first proposed by Eugen Sanger, an Austrian scientist, during World War II. His concept, known as the Sanger Trajectory, involved a spacecraft that could skip across the atmosphere, allowing it to cover vast distances without burning up on re-entry. While Sanger's ideas remained theoretical for decades, modern technology is finally making them a reality. Chinese researchers have revisited the Sanger trajectory using advanced algorithms and simulations to optimize its use in hypersonic vehicles. The results have been impressive, with computer models showing that these vehicles can reach speeds of up to Mach 20 and maintain them for extended periods. This capability opens up new possibilities for global strike missions, allowing a single vehicle to hit multiple targets across the globe. The Sanger trajectory, once a forgotten concept, is now at the cutting edge of aerospace technology, proving that even the most radical ideas can find new life in the right hands. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through the latest advancements in supersonic and hypersonic technologies. We hope you found the information as exciting and thought-provoking as we did. If you've gained any value from today's exploration into the future of aviation and aerospace, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us continue to bring you the latest in science and technology. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our next deep dive into the cutting-edge innovations shaping our world. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.